So you know what they say about Hori Hori knives. There are no bad Hori Horis, only better ones. So if you guys are not familiar with a Hori Hori knife, a Hori Hori knife is a Japanese knife and it's kind of like an all utilitarian type of knife. If you are a knife collector, this is the kind that you want for your collection. And this particular one is a bare bones Hori Hori knife. Hori Hori is an onomatopoeia. What it means is Hori in Japanese is to dig. So when you actually make the digging, the Hori Hori comes from that's where you get the sound of hori hori. Now this one has a serrated edge. Well, all of them would. A nice serrated edge, and then just a regular normal knife edge. This one has a sweet walnut handle on it, and it is a full tang with a single screw pommel on the back of it. Very, very well designed, very nice to hold in your hand, and the weight is just perfect for it. And this pommel that it has on it is a really nice addition to be able to use as a hammer. Now I have owned a great many Hori Hori knives. And this one has got to be my favorite. So this one has a really nice curve in that blade. Which makes digging a lot easier. If you're going to dig this way, whichever way you're going to dig with it, it makes digging a lot easier. I've had a few different ones that have maybe like a small groove or, you know, some kind of half circle but this one is the full length of that blade is the curve which to me is just that's top notch that's the way I want it to be this one I got came with a little sheath for it and put it in here it's pretty nice clips right onto your belt you can actually thread a belt through it if you really wanted to try that I think that's a little tight for doing I wouldn't do that personally it has a snap closure on it you see that now the snap closure is okay uh, it holds it in there nice I like that strap on there however the snap when you go back to put it back on if you're doing it one-handed or something on the side it's not really handy for that so I kind of wish that these were magnetic I think that would be a really cool feature on this because then you would just put them together they would you know magnetize themselves closed and you would be all set to go you wouldn't have to be fiddling with the uh, snap on it so you might be wondering why would you want a hori hori knife well this thing is perfect for making your holes if you're going to do any kind of digging the serrated edge on there let's see that really nice there that will help you cut through small roots and even branches probably You'll be able to get through quite a bit of stuff i've only really used it for smaller roots a couple good size like grapevine type roots but uh, really nice when you're digging you can make a saw in action with it and it will cut right through a good majority of a lot of stuff out there you have this nice sharp edge if you need to cut anything if you need to do any kind of shaving or anything like that this is the kind of knife that you would use if you were maybe a backpacker something like that it's, it's very nice everything about this knife is really just spot on it's very well constructed and another thing I really like about this particular knife is right here so when you put it in its case and it sits down flat against your hip having this part cut out is actually really good to sit in that case so it's not sticking out it's not rounded there bumping it out or anything so it sits nice and flat inside of there but I find that that's also handy for my thumb so I put my thumb right there and when I'm doing any kind of digging motion this way or if I gotta do any kind of sawing, I'm actually left-handed, so it doesn't work as well. I have to switch hands to do sawing with it. But, you know, I'm left-handed, and I guess uh, they're not gonna design the tool just for us left-handers. But if you ever did, a left-handed Hori Hori would be really awesome. 
had the blade on the other side, the serrated edge on the other side, so I could saw a little easier. Million dollar ideal, I think. So, but putting your thumb there, you get a little extra leverage on it, a little extra control, which is really nice to have. I feel like I gotta just show you this up close. Can you guys see that? Just a beautiful stainless steel blade on this. A nice walnut handle. And then that pommel is really nice. Like I said, the pommel is nice. So having this pommel on here has been really nice. I have used it quite a bit, more than I would have thought. Uh, it's just handy to have, you know. If you're a guy, everything turns into a hammer. So you've got, you know, you got your wrench hammer, you got your screwdriver hammer, you know. <laughs> everything is a hammer eventually. And having this actual hammer piece on here has been awesome. If I gotta put a little nail in somewhere or pound some kind of post, uh, any kind of stick or anything, this has been awesome to be able to use to do that. And I couldn't imagine not having this on here now, even though I've never had one on any of my other Hori Hori knives. But now it's just like a must. So there's one thing I found that was a little odd to me that people complained a lot about this knife, was that right there is a twine cutter. And they complained a lot about this twine cutter. They said, you know, it's useless, what's it there for? They didn't have any purpose for it. But I think you guys are misusing that. This is actually the one reason I bought this one in particular. This really sold me on it. It's a twine cutter, but it also doubles as a bottle opener, guys. Ingenious. Every tool that can open a bottle is a winner in my book. So if you guys are looking for a really good Hori Hori knife to add to your collection, I mean, there is nothing better than this one. It displays well, it handles well, it works well in your, it's perfectly balanced. It's just got a great look to it. This bare bones Hori Hori is an excellent knife and would make an awesome addition to anyone's collection of you know, survival tools, gardening tools, anything like that. So check it out. This bare bones, hori hori, definitely worth the money. City set out.